Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video I will solve the uh, puzzles in the top left section here of the game, Rib. Puzzle, num oops, puzzle number one is a new mechanic. We see this here. I'm not sure what it means yet, but we know we have one red and two yellow colors. So let's see what happens if I try to put the red color here. It doesn't work. I also can't put it here, so it's safe to assume that this clue actually means that this tile cannot touch any red neighbors. So the red tile that we need has to be in here, and we need the yellow tiles here. So here again we have a yellow block, so the yellow tile that we need can only be in here, and the remaining blue tiles have to be here and here. Here we have two yellow tiles, which obviously cannot be here and here because they are blocked by this, so the yellow tiles have to be here and here, and the remaining two red tiles have to be here and here. Here, if I look at this tile, I know from this block that it cannot be red, and if I look at this block, it cannot be yellow. So this one has to be a blue uh, tile, because red, yellow and blue are the only colors we have. Yes, and now I can see that the red and the yellow tile have to be here somewhere. I don't know where now, but I know from that that the remaining blue tile has to be here. And now I can see that the red tile has to be neighboring this piece, so it's here, and the remaining yellow tile has to be there. Here if I look at this center block, I know from this block that it cannot be red, and I know from this block that it cannot be yellow, so it has to be blue. It's the one blue tile that we have here. Um, and then if I look at this block here, I know that this tile cannot be red, so it has to be yellow, and it needs a yellow neighbor, which can only be here, and I have two red remaining pieces that have to be here. A second puzzle. Um, yes, uh, here I can look at the red blocks and see that most of the tiles are already blocked for the color red. Uh, in particular, these four tiles cannot be red, and these four tiles also cannot be red, which leaves only one, two, three tiles that can be red, and I have exactly three uh, tiles in the field that have to be red also. So let's mark those three tiles in red. And then, if I look at this block, I know that these four tiles cannot be yellow. Since I only have yellow and blue left, these tiles have to be blue. And now, the remaining tiles have to be yellow according to the outside clue here. So, on to puzzle number three. Um, here I start by looking uh, at this tile, and which color we uh, must have in here. And um, this tile has to comply with these two clues, right? So looking at this clue, we have three color clues and one, two, three neighbors. So it's safe to say that this tile has to be either yellow or red. If I look at this clue with one, two, three required neighbors and one, two, three neighbors, I can say for this tile that it has to be yellow or blue. So this tile has to be yellow or blue according to this clue, or yellow or red according to this blue clue up here, so it has to be yellow. It's the only matching color for these two clues. Now I can uh, complete this clue already. I have one yellow neighbor here, and I need two more red neighbors. They can only go here and here. And now um, I only have one red tile left for the puzzle. Um, but I have two more clues that require uh, a red neighbor. Um, if I'm looking at this one, one red neighbor is already here, so this tile needs one, red, one more red neighbor, and this tile needs one more red neighbor, so the red tile can only be a joint neighbor to these two tiles, and the only joint neighbor is this one. Um, furthermore, I can see now from this clue that this tile has to be yellow because we have two red neighbors here and here, which means the yellow neighbor has to be there. And now, if I look at this clue, 
I see we already have one red neighbor. We have two neighbors left and we need one yellow and one blue neighbor. Blue cannot be up here, so it has to be down there, which in turn means that this one has to be yellow and the blue one is down here. Um, now this clue tells me um, I have a blue neighbor here already, a yellow neighbor there, so the remaining neighbor has to be yellow. Yeah? And I have only blue left for this puzzle, so the remaining tile has to be blue. Moving on to the next puzzle, uh, puzzle number four. Yep. Um, here let's start by looking at this clue here. First of all we have a um, yellow neighbor to this tile, which is either here or here. Yeah. And we also have a yellow neighbor to this tile, which is either here or here. So these four tiles contain two yellow tiles. One is up here and one is down there. So these four tiles are also all the four neighbors to this piece in the center here, which requires a red and a blue neighbor. Now remember we have one yellow neighbor up here and one yellow neighbor up here, so I have one tile left up here and one tile left down there. Up here I can't have a red neighbor because of this red block, so that means the red tile um, that is required here as a neighbor needs to be down here and the blue tile needs to be up here. So up here we have yellow and blue from this clue and from this clue and down here we have yellow and red from this clue and this clue. So that's yellow and blue and yellow and red. These four colors are gone for these four tiles, which in turn means that the remaining five colors have to be in the remaining tiles. Here, 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 here and here. And now I can move along. Here I need a red neighbor, which cannot be here, it can only be here. So let's mark this. Now this yellow neighbor can only be here. This blue neighbor can only be here. And the remaining yellow neighbor or yellow tile and yellow neighbor can only be here. Like this. And puzzle number five, which I think is the most difficult puzzle almost in the entire game, I think. Um, I can only serve a very difficult solution to this one. Uh, I hope you can stay with me and I hope I can get my point across. Well, we have an easy access to the puzzle at least. Um, by looking at these two tiles, um, we know from this block that they cannot be red and we know from this block that these tiles cannot be yellow so they have to be blue because we only have red, yellow and blue available for this puzzle. So let's mark them in blue. Now we get extra clues which however don't, uh, they, they are not easy to use. As I said, I, at least I didn't find a, an easy way to make use of them. The way I approach this puzzle or the rest of this puzzle is by um, actually trying to figure out if I can have uh, a blue tile here, a blue collar in one or in two of these tiles. Well, I can't have blue in two of these tiles. That much is clear because if I look at this clue, I need another blue tile somewhere touching here because I have one blue tile already. And also for this tile, I need one more blue tile. I have one blue neighbor here and I need another blue neighbor somewhere here. Yeah, so I can't have both blue tiles that I have I up here. That's not possible. At least one blue tile would have to be down here. Um, so to come back to the original question, can I have um, a one blue tile in here? That would be possible if I had one blue tile here or here. Because if it is here, I would have for this tile two blue neighbors and for this tile I would also have two blue neighbors. If it was here it's the same, I would have two blue neighbors for this tile here and two blue neighbors for this tile here. So the question is, can I have blue here or here? Okay. Now if I put the blue tile in here, that means for this tile I have two blue neighbors already, one here and here, and I would need two more red tiles. I can't put a red tile here because of this block, so the red neighbors would have to be here and here, meaning that here I would have a red tile and here a blue tile. 
Now if I look at this tile here in the clues, I would have two blue neighbors already here and here, and one red neighbor here, which means that these two tiles would have to be yellow, but they can't be yellow because I have a yellow block here. Okay? So that means I can't have the blue tile here, or the original assumption that I made in the beginning. Uh, uh, and the same is basically true, the, 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 the same ideas are basically true if I try to put the blue tile here. I would have two blue tiles as neighbors to this piece here, and I would need two more yellow uh, neighbors here or here. I couldn't put it here because of this yellow block, so the two yellow neighbors would be here, which means I would have a yellow tile here and a blue tile here. And looking at these clues, then I would have two blue tiles, one here, one here, and the yellow tile, the yellow neighbor here, which means I would need two red tiles here as neighbors, and I can't have a red tile here because it would touch the red block. So, to sum this up, I can't have a blue tile in here, and I can't have a blue tile in here. I can't have both blue tiles in here, yeah? and um, since I can't have one blue tile in here or here, I need the two blue tiles that I have to complete these clues here and here somewhere. One would have to be here, one blue tile would have to be here to uh, complete these two blue t uh, neighbors, one here, one here, and I would need one blue tile here so that I have two blue neighbors to this tile, one here and one there. So, to get back to the original question, can I have a blue tile here? It's obviously now, now it is a no, which means I need either red or yellow here and here. Now I can't have a red tile here, so this tile has to be yellow. And here I can't have a yellow tile, so this tile has to be red. And now uh, I see here I need a red neighbor. I have three potential neighbors, but two of them are blocked from red by this tile, so the red neighbor has to be here. And here I need a yellow neighbor, which cannot be here or here because of the yellow block, so the yellow neighbor has to be here. And now I can complete the puzzle by looking at these clues. Um, here I have a yellow neighbor here, I have a blue neighbor here, and a red neighbor, so I need a blue and a red neighbor in these two uh, fields. I can't have the red tile in here because of this block, so the red tile has to be here, which means the blue tile to complete these clues has to be here. And here uh, I have a red neighbor here, I have a yellow neighbor here and a blue neighbor here, so I need a yellow and a blue neighbor. Um, the yellow neighbor cannot be here, so it has to be the blue neighbor, which means the remaining yellow neighbor has to be here. Now for this puzzle I would be really interested if there's an easier way to solve this. Please, please, please tell me, because I just don't see it. <laughs> okay, um, moving on to puzzle number five. Um, this is uh, approached, or I approach this puzzle by looking at these three clues, first of all. Yeah, I have red, yellow, and blue. And um, each of these uh, tiles touches two of these brackety tiles inside here. So um, we can say for sure that these three tiles contain the colors red, yellow, and blue. Um, because we only have red, yellow, and blue, no mixed colors here. Um, so let's see what happens if I assume that the red color would be in this tile, uh, because the red color can only be here or here. So if red was in this tile, according to this clue, this tile would have to be yellow, and according to this clue, this tile would have to be blue. Yeah. So if this tile is blue and this tile is red, according to this clue, I would need a yellow tile in here. And that would lead us to the situation that this clue cannot be complied with. We would have a yellow tile here, a red tile in here, and a yellow tile in here. Yeah? And no blue tile neighboring this, ti this, this tile here. So um, we can't have red in here. Uh, red has to be here, blue has to be here, according to this clue, and yellow, according to this clue, has to be here. Now, the next uh, conclusion we can make is uh, by looking at this tile here, 
we have two clues and two neighbors. Yellow is here already. Oh, no, we have three neighbors. The yellow uh, 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 neighbor is here already, so we need another blue uh, neighbor. Here we have a red neighbor, so the blue neighbor has to be there, like this. And here we have another clue that we can partially use. We need um, the three colors, like we have three neighbors and three color clues, blue, um, red and yellow. Now the blue color, color cannot be in these two tiles because of this blue block up here. So the blue color has to be down there. Oh yeah, it's already selected blue, like this. And now um, the next step would be to look at this clue here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven color clues, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven neighbors. So we know that each of these, like we know the colors for each of these neighbors. Um, and we have, by the way, we also have one red neighbor already, which is not really possible, but um, like each of these neighbors here has to be either red or blue. And if I look at these two neighbors to this tile, they cannot be blue because of this blue block. So both of these has to be red, like this, which means we have all the three red neighbors for this piece, one, two, and three here. So the remaining neighbors have to be blue. Like this. And now um, we can look at this clue again. We have the blue neighbor, we have the red neighbor, which means this neighbor has to be yellow. And now we can look at this clue here. We have one, two, three blue neighbors. One, two, three clues. We have, uh, we need two yellow neighbors. We have one yellow neighbor here and one yellow neighbor here, which means the remaining neighbors have to be uh, red because we need two red neighbors and we have two neighbors left. So these two are red and the remaining uh, tile on the board has to be yellow, according to this outside clue here. Okay, on to puzzle number, what is it, six, seven? Oh yeah, this is actually one of my favorite puzzles in the entire game. Um, because uh, you can really work your way through it, sort of. Um, my approach to solving this puzzle is by looking at the uh, potential uh, fields for yellow, potential yellow color tiles, because we have quite a lot of yellow clues, but only four potential colors. Yeah. Um, so let's see where these colors could be. Let's start um, with this clue. This tile here touches one, two, three, four other tiles, which means that two of these four tiles have to be yellow. Okay, so here two yellow pieces are already gone. Now we have another clue here with yellow. Um, and again, we have one, two, three, four neighboring tiles. Um, so these four tiles will also have to contain one yellow piece. Okay, so we only have one yellow uh, tile left. And looking at this clue, um, we again have four tiles that need to contain one yellow uh, uh, yeah, neighbor. One, one of them needs to contain the color yellow, okay? So all of these four tiles are gone here, here, and here in these tiles. But we have one more clue that requires a yellow tile. Now this yellow uh, uh, neighbor cannot be here because that is not part of the uh, potential tiles for uh, the color yellow that I uh, found in these first deductions. Yeah. So this one, however, was part of the uh, uh, potential yellow fields of this clue here. Remember, this tile needs two yellow neighbors somewhere here, and one of them is here. So this is a joint neighbor to this clue and this clue, and that's why this piece has to be yellow, like this. And there we get an extra clue saying we need one more yellow tile and two more red tiles. Now the red tiles cannot be here because of this block, and they cannot be here because of this block, which means the yellow tiles will have to be one here and one here. One here and one here. Now, um, 
this yellow tile has two potential fields, one here and one here. But remember in the beginning we, we um, how do you say, we located all potential fields for yellow, uh, for the color yellow, and this one was not part of it. Uh, because here we need another yellow clue also, which can only be here or here. So the joint neighbor to these two clues is this one, and this one has to be yellow. And now we can move on with this piece here, with this clue. We have two yellow neighbors here and here. We have one red neighbor here. So we need another blue neighbor, and that one can only be here. Which gives us a red clue, which cannot be here, because of the red block. The red neighbor to this tile has to be here. Um, and that allows us to work with this clue a little more. We have a red neighbor here, so for these three fields we need one yellow neighbor and two blue neighbors. Now, um, the uh, yellow neighbor cannot be here. Wait, can I do something else here already? No. How do we move on here? The yellow, the red one is here. We need two. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can't have yellow in here, which means this one has to be a blue na neighbor to this field. Like red is already taken here. We have four tiles neighboring this piece. And we have four color clues. So the red one is gone. And for the remaining three tiles, we need yellow, blue, and blue. This one cannot be yellow, so this one has to be blue. Like this. And there we get the, uh, the next clue that we need. Um, this tile can also not be yellow, according to this clue it could be, but like according to this clue it can't be. So this one also has to be blue. And now we can say that the yellow neighbor required according to this clue has to be in here. Like this. And here we have a another uh, yellow neighbor that is required. The yellow neighbor cannot be in here because remember in the beginning we figured out all possible colors for yellow and this tile was not part of it. Um, it has to be here and here in fact we have a joint neighbor to this. This tile is a joint neighbor to this yellow clue and to this yellow clue here and it's the only yellow that we have left so this one has to be yellow. Now we can look at this clue again. We have um, like again four neighbors and four clues. One uh, red clue is gone here. The yellow clue is gone here. So we need a blue and a red piece neighboring this tile. The blue part obviously cannot be here because of this block. So the blue one has to be here and the red one has to be here. Red goes there and blue goes there. And now um, we have um, two red colors remaining and one blue color remaining. Now the red colors cannot be in here because of this block. So the two red colors have to be here and the blue color has to be in there. And that finishes this puzzle. I really like this. Well, moving on to the uh, seventh puzzle of this game or eighth, I don't even know. Well, um, this puzzle is solved by me by looking at these uh, tiles with block clues. Um, let's see which um, colors are blocked for red from this tile. This one cannot be red, this one cannot be red, this one can also not be red, and this one. Those four tiles cannot be red. Okay? Now if I look at this block, I have those two tiles that cannot be red, and these three tiles that cannot be red. So if I put all of them together, I can't have red here and here, and I can't have red here or here. So this outside part, basically, I can't have red. Yeah? I can't have red in these four tiles here also, and I can't have red in here also. So basically, all tiles of this field are blocked from red except this one and this one. And I have exactly two blue colors for this field, so they have to be here and here. And now I can look at this clue. Um, we have um, one, two, three, four neighbors 
but only three neighbors are left that are not colored. And so for these three tiles, I need two times the color blue and one times the color yellow. They are in here. And if I look at this clue, again, I have three tiles left uh, as neighbors. Yeah, The red one, I don't even count anymore. And I need also here for these three tiles, I need two blue colors and one uh, yellow color. So that means in this line of tiles from here, one, two, three, four, five, six tiles, I need four blue colors, two here and two here, and uh, two yellow colors. But the main thing is that all blue colors are taken by the line of these six tiles. So the remaining three tiles, these here, can only be yellow. Like this. So now, um, let's see. Um, as I said, I need uh, blue and blue and yellow here and blue and blue and yellow here, according to these clues. But if I look at this clue, I already have the red uh, neighbor here. I have five neighbors all together and five clues, so the remaining four tiles have to contain two yellow ones and two blue ones. Um, two yellow ones and two blue ones, which leaves me with two blue tiles, and these blue tiles therefore have to be here and here. Right? And now I'm getting the final clues that I need. Sorry, <coughs> um, one yellow tile is here, one blue tile is here. I need another blue tile that can only be here. So let's mark this as blue, and the same is true for this tile here. We have one yellow tile here already, one blue neighbor here, and I need another blue neighbor, which can only be here. So the remaining two yellow tiles have to be here and here. Okay, the final puzzle in this section is also quite a nice one. Uh, it really had me dazzled for quite a while, but I think I found the uh, proper solution here. Um, and it's about looking at uh, basically um, this clue here, first of all. This clue has three colors inside, like it needs three colored neighbors. And I have one, two, three neighbors to this tile, so it is safe to say that this tile in particular has to be either red, blue or yellow. Those are the only colors I have also. Now this tile cannot be red according to this red block here. And according to this yellow block, this tile also cannot be yellow, so it has to be blue. And now, um, looking at this clue, I can see that um, the uh, yellow neighbor to this uh, tile cannot be here because of the yellow block, so it has to be there. Actually, I could have seen this before, also uh, because the yellow block couldn't be here and here. Oh, it doesn't matter, yellow tile. Um, and then the remaining red uh, neighbor that is required here has to be in here. And um, here, according to this clue, I need two red neighbors. Uh, I have one red neighbor already here. Now the remaining red neighbor that I need cannot be here, according to this block. It also cannot be here because of this block. So the remaining red neighbor has to be here. And now it's time to look at um, this clue here. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five neighbors and five clues. So um, this red clue is already taken here, or this red neighbor is already here, and we have one blue neighbor here, which means that the, for the remaining three uh, tiles here, the three neighbors, I need, uh, what was it, yellow, yellow, and blue. Okay, yellow, yellow, and blue. Yes, that's right. Yellow, yellow, and blue. Um, so the blue neighbor cannot be here because of this block, which in turn means that this tile has to be a yellow neighbor to this tile. Okay, let's mark this yellow. And now um, I can look at um, these clues here. I need like like. Let, let's let's look at the amount of neighbors first of all again. We have one, two, three, four, five neighbors to this piece. Yeah? And I need two 
yellow neighbors. I only have two yellow fields left for this puzzle. Yeah. Um, so the two yellow tiles have to be somewhere in these four tiles here. One, two, three, four. However, this piece here also needs two yellow neighbors. One yellow neighbor is already here. So this also needs a yellow neighbor. So I need three yellow neighbors and I only have two, which means that one of these yellow neighbors has to be in a joint neighbor of these two tiles, right? Now this piece here doesn't touch this one. This piece here as a neighbor of this one is not a neighbor to this tile. This neighbor to this tile is not a neighbor to this tile. The only neighbor to both of these tiles is this one. So this piece has to be yellow. Otherwise we couldn't have two yellow neighbors here and two yellow neighbors here. So let's mark this as yellow. And then we can see from this clue here we need a blue neighbor which cannot be in here according to this uh, blue block. So the only place for this uh, blue neighbor is in here in the block piece itself, like this. Which allows me to go on with the deduction for this uh, piece here, I think. Let's see, we have one blue neighbor here. We have um, one red neighbor here, which means we need one more red neighbor and uh, we have one yellow neighbor also here, which means we need one red neighbor and one yellow neighbor. Now the yellow neighbor cannot be here because of this yellow block, so the, yet the yellow neighbor needs to be here and the remaining red neighbor that we need has to be here. And now we only have red and blue left. The red neighbor obviously cannot be here because of the red block, so it has to be there, which means the blue piece has to be here. And that's it for this section already, right? Yeah, that was the final puzzle. Thanks for watching. I hope everything made sense and you enjoyed watching this. In my next video, I will solve the puzzles in the uh, top right corner section here of the game RIP. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.